Anderson, let me tell you something. We, we learned some <laughs> things that I never knew. And I felt like, you know, I was an African-American man. I'm from Virginia, especially this, the history of Virginia and the right. state rights in Virginia. I learned so many things about my family I had no idea even what, what else did you learn? Well, specifically that on my mother's side, there was a whole corridor, a whole lineage of free people of color, free blacks hmm. in the South in the late 1790s. So this was before slavery. Wow. And you have to understand too, in this, this genealogy. That's extraordinary. It's ex ex extraordinary. And, and they were free then. I asked the question, I told, was telling Lisa, I felt like I should know some of this stuff. I'm like, how are they free in 1790s, right. early 1800s? And it's because of certain state laws there in Virginia. But it's just important because this, this, this stuff we're not taught so much. Uh, and the fact that every African American was not a slave and every white person was not a, a slave owner. I mean, right. it's important that people understand there are gray areas in every history. Yeah, the lines are, are much more blurred and, and interwoven in a lot of different Absolutely. ways. Absolutely, so not just free people. I found out my three times great grandfather owned, owned 200 acres in Virginia in the early 1800s. So that's, it changes kind of how you think of yeah. the history.